Okay, guys, let's talk through the uh, 7 2 homework real quick. I'm not going to go through every one, but I did go through quite a few of them. And yes, my head got stuffy here in the last little bit, so bear with me. All right, number one, uh, it would ask you to um, graph the parent function and the transformed function. It gave you the transformed function, and you had to figure out what the parent function was. Uh, the p transformed function is y equals 1 half times 3 to the x. That gives a parent function of 3 to the x. Uh, you'll see that graph in red. The transformed function cuts everything in half, and you can see that in blue. The domain is all real numbers. <laughs> Excuse me, the range is greater than or equal to, or not greater than or equal to, just greater than zero. Fix that. Um, and the y, uh, the x intercept is, uh, there isn't an x intercept. The y intercept is at uh, 0 0.5. And it gives a line of asymptote of uh, y equals zero. Next, we look at number two. Uh, the transform function was y equals 4 to the x minus 1. That gave us a parent function of y to the y equals 4 to the x. You see those in red and blue. The domain is all real numbers. The range is, again, uh, greater than 0. No, uh, no x-intercept. You can see when we shifted everything over one uh, unit to the right, our y-intercept became uh, 0 and 1 quarter, or put 0.25, and the line of asymptote is uh, 0, y equals 0. Um, on number 5, the uh, transformed function was y equals 2 to the x minus 5, uh, and the parent function is y equals 2 to the x. Transform function moves down five units. You see the uh, parent in red, the transformed five down in blue. Domain is y, uh, x is all real numbers. My range now has changed because we shifted down. My y is my range is now y is greater than negative five. My because I shifted down, you can now see that we do have an x-intercept. So, my x-intercept is at 2.250. My y-intercept is at 0, negative 4. And my line of asymptote is at y equals negative 5. Number seven and number ten uh, wanted us to describe, without graphing, describe the following functions related to the parent function y equals five to the x. Number seven is y to, equals the negative five to the x. That negative flips uh, our graph down across the y uh, the x axis. Number ten, we see y is. 5 to the x minus 3 plus 2. The, min the x minus 3, that moves us, that 3 moves us 3 units to the right. That's our h. 2 is our k, and that moves us 2 units up. Um, on 11, uh, 11, 12, and 13, we were matching the correct uh, graph with the function. 11 is B, 12 is A, and 13 is C. And then we're going to look at uh, this little table and do a couple of them off of this table. Uh, number 14 asked us to do the exponential model of this table. This model gave or this table gave us a model of y equals 100 times 2 to the x. And number 16, how many organ microorganisms do we have after 11 hours? That is, y is 100 times 2 to the 11th power, 
which gives us 204,800 microorganisms after 11 hours. All right, that's all that I went through with you for tonight. I'm going to post this, and I'll see you tomorrow.